Hey, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You have tuned into the Trucker Rudy Show. Yes, indeed. Today is going to be a little bit of a different day, a little bit of a special day, I think. Yes, we are in a car driving towards uh, our dentist appointment. Yes, we got to clean our teeth. I'll go have a dentist visit and see what they got to say about my teeth and all that, right? Yes, indeed. Yeah, we also got some other things planned for today that we're going to be sharing with you guys later on today. Yes, indeed, we will be. I'm just on my way towards the dentist and uh, going to go take care of that business and then we're going to get ready to go on a little road trip or something like that. Yes, we will be. I hope I will have enough time to uh, at least turn the camera on every once in a while and uh, bring you guys up to speed on what we're up to and all that. It is uh, considered a uh, long weekend up here in Canada. Yes, indeed it is. Uh, it's called May Long Weekend up here. So we are probably going to be doing some special things this weekend. Yes, indeed. And you know what else I suspect? I highly suspect that my friends and my wife and all of them are going to be throwing a birthday party together this weekend for me at camp. I highly suspect that that's going to happen. No, we can't say for sure, right? Because we don't know what they have planned, right? They're not telling us that, right? But uh, I highly suspect that that's what's gonna happen. But you guys will find out. You guys will know if that's gonna happen or not, or if that does happen, right? But uh, yeah, we're almost here at our dentist's office, so uh, we are going to go ahead and get out of here pretty soon. And now we'll try and keep you guys up to date. Like I said, it's probably going to be a very busy, uh, busy day here for a little bit till uh, we get everything figured out, and then uh, or everything done that we need to get done, and then uh, we'll show you what we're going to be up to. Mm -hmm. You got to watch the whole video to find out. That's for sure. But. Uh, Looks like it's going to be a gorgeous weekend, so we're going to be enjoying whatever we are up to. <laughs> yes, indeed. So I guess we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Alrighty, guys, we are doing a little shopping, as you can see. Yes, for the weekend. We're going to get ready for the weekend. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys know we love our meat, right? So we're going to go up here to Earl's Meat. We're going to go get some, some meat. Look at that. What are we getting? Huh? Some sausages? Oh, like sausage, yeah. yeah, which ones are the good ones? Hmm? Close? You wanna take a pack or what? Alright guys and gals, we are gonna give you a sneak peek on what we're up to. Let's take a look around this corner over here. Yeah, what does that look like? Yeah. That guy guys, would that tell you something? I think it probably will, hey? Yeah, look at this box over here and looks like we're moving out of the house or something like that Not sure what we're doing <laughs> Anyways, we're getting ready to go somewhere <laughs> Yeah, looks like it So we're gonna go get some meat and put it in the freezer or in our cooler over there And then we'll get some ice on there Oh yeah. Alrighty guys, we're gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour. Yeah, I got my Wi-Fi set up over here so that way I have Wi-Fi with me. I got all my ice boxes in here. I got most of my stuff in here, it looks like. Maybe I turn on some light in here. Yeah, maybe that light will help a little bit, but yeah, we got most of our stuff set up over here. And then we're I'm gonna go to the back and show you a little bit what we got over here. Yes, look at that. Wow, we got some fishing rods with us. Holy moly, guys. Yeah, we're gonna go fishing. We're camping. 
we're gonna go camping so here we are we're finally revealing it to you guys yes indeed got my laptop my uh my uh tripod set up i got my microphone i got my power booster stick there that i got from truck jukebox we got our fishing box over there yeah we are set just about ready to go i think yeah so let's see what we're going to be up to we're going to be showing you some goodies today i think so in the next couple of days for sure hey guys guess what we're having an ice cream we're on our way going camping ladies and gentlemen oh yeah look at that beautiful sunshine out here today mm -hmm. yes indeed and we got a camera lady with us mm -hmm. the wife yes indeed we got the sun with us right yeah there you go got all our stuff ready to go we're just gonna go make a pit stop at the uh mechanic shop there and we're going to try and get that suction clamp that i have on my window on the truck there for the gopro and i'm going to try and mount it here and then we're going to take you guys along with us hopefully we can show you some road uh scenery so down going towards the lake hopefully you guys can see the lake here we are ladies and gentlemen we are coming into the town of bozager we have never ever shown you guys this town no sorry Bob this will be the very first time that you guys have seen me go through this town I've gone through here many times before but never shown you guys no way this is the very very first time look at that we got a garage sale going on he made a big sign we want people to know <laughs> yeah this is one of the areas where you will see a little different type of style of parking than you would generally see up here in Canada and uh, you'll start seeing it right about now you see that how they park up here on the side of the road that's uh, the way they park up here that's traditionally how we used to park but uh, not anymore not in Steinbach you wouldn't park like this but up here in Bozager they do and this is a little French town that's what they say I don't speak French so but yeah a little town here it must be a little awkward getting out of the parking spot here like that guy was trying to back out must be a little awkward but hey if they think they can make it work why not right yeah we're making our way down towards Nudemig Lake and we figured you know what we mount our camera up here on the windshield and we'll give that a try hopefully that will work better than that uh, phone camera I was using yesterday I checked that out there earlier and that looks pretty shaky but look at this guy he just backed right in front of us <laughs> yeah well it's the way it is you gotta be careful here everybody's fueling up but that's about it that's just about done with the little town up here that's for sure anyways we got a good ways to go yet till we get to the lake so uh we'll be showing you some goodies that's for sure we are coming into another little town up here we got a little tiny river up here yeah we're coming up to the area of seven sister falls for those of you that have been with my channel here for a good old while already if you guys remember last year last year we went up here to see the falls up here so uh, what I might have to do is I might have to see if I can find that video I might have to uh, put it in the eye there on the on the right hand corner top right hand corner I might have to see if I remember to clay uh, put it in the in the in the eye corner over there you know maybe you guys can check that out and then again maybe we might on our way back we might stop in there and show you guys again but we'll have to see how that works hopefully it's not going to be raining too much on uh, Monday when we come back but yeah the bar over here so I guess everybody stopped at the bar to get a drink and uh, it's supposed to be a dry weekend so uh, I guess they're not going to be drinking up there too much so I figured <laughs> they're probably drinking down there but yeah you're going to see a lot of people up here this weekend that's for sure 
Yeah, first opening of the year for camping, so there's gonna be a lot of people down here. But yeah, a little bit of a town here. When you come into the provincial park here, I guess they're doing a little check here. Because what I was saying earlier, it's supposed to be a dry weekend. So they're probably going to be checking for uh, park passes. You have to have a park pass in order to get through here. And looks like they're selling a lot of park passes up here too. So let's see what he's got to say. Let's see. All right. He's giving me a thumbs up. I guess everybody else is not... Don't go to park pass. Let's see. What's happening today? Work. Work, work, work. Yeah. Is there any fire restrictions out here? Uh, you can't have an open fire, but you can have it in your fire pit. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. You just watch the sparks. Don't have a gigantic fire, right? So we can't have no fireworks tonight? No fireworks. No? Oh, my goodness. Dry. Hey, check out our YouTube channel. I make all kinds of scenery videos. Oh, do you? Yeah, okay. check it out. I will, thank you. All right, see you later. Yeah. All right, thank you. All righty, there we go. Just chatting a little bit with the guys up here. Since we got the park pass, we don't have to get a park pass, but yeah, they're uh, checking everybody for park passes, it sounded like. And Looked like not everybody had one either. I guess some people were trying to get away with it, I guess. But that happens every single year. I even heard last year somebody was making a photocopy of one park pass and he had like three vehicles and he just put a photocopy of it in, uh, in his car and he got caught. Yeah. And people try all kinds of different things, but it's only 40, 40 bucks for a year for a park pass but you can see here this is where the lakes start start you know yeah there's somebody over there with the boat already yep yeah that's cool though we got beautiful weather up here that's for sure yeah I figured I would ask them about the fire because uh, as you guys probably all know already over the last month or so we've been having a lot of fire issues up here in Canada in some areas so uh, Figured I would ask, right? Just to be on the safe side, so that way we are in the clear, we know what we're doing, and we don't have to worry about it, right? I always like to joke around a little bit too, you know? But hey, make it interesting, you know? Figured I would give him a card, you can check out my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, well, you gotta promote it too, right? That's part of it. But anyways, you're probably gonna see some more water down here. In a little bit here, I think around the corner here, or a, or a two, maybe two corners before we start seeing some water. But yeah, we will be seeing some water here pretty soon, that's for sure. Yeah, up here we see a little bit of water already. Yeah, this is part of the lake up here. You can't probably see it all the way, but... Yeah, park office is over here to the left. It says moderate for fire danger today. There you go. So we should be okay. They say we just can't have an open fire, but we can have a fire in the fire pit, he said, so that way we know. See, so here you go, guys and gals. Here you go. You see other folds, I believe this is called up here, isn't it? I think so. I think that's what it is. Let me see up here on the side. Eleanor side. Lake. Eleanor Lake. Oh, okay. All right. Well, there you have it. Beautiful scenery. We're gonna enjoy our time here at the lake, that's for sure. Aren't we? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a good time. We'll probably catch some fish. Yeah, tomorrow we're probably gonna go do some fishing. We won't do any today, but tomorrow we will be. Lots of barbecues, oh yeah. Probably we'll have a fish fry up here. That would be awesome if you could catch us enough fish to have a nice fish fry. Oh yeah. Maybe we can make a little video, a special video for the Vetter channel this year again. For National Fishing Week. We got on television last year. For those of you that don't know that. We got lots of new subscribers since, then, since last year. 
and uh, last year in June I recorded a video and uh, I got contacted by uh, the weather network our uh, weather network here in Canada and they asked me if uh, they could broadcast a 17 second clip of my uh, video from my uh, YouTube video there and I said sure why not and sure enough, at 8 o'clock in the evening, they have a program on Saturday night where it's called uh, Selfies. And uh, that's where I was broadcast for an hour. But every few minutes they would broadcast that, and like a rotation, I guess. And uh, yeah, they showed my clip from us fishing there in, uh, in uh, Long Island, right? I believe that's what it was, where we were. Yeah, Long Island. That's where we were fishing at and uh, camping, and and so they broadcast that. So that was awesome. I was standing in the water there and opening a beer and just enjoying fishing, and uh, they seem to like that. So hopefully we can record another awesome clip for them to uh, put us on television. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I believe this is other faults, eh? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, this is other folds up here. But we got a lot of lakes uh, up here. Stone. Yeah, and right here is the other fold store. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful boat. Look at that. That's cool. I would love to own a boat like that, eh? Wow. <laughs> yeah, you're going to see a lot of boats up here probably this weekend. That wouldn't surprise me. Hopefully you won't have a problem with bears or anything like that. Like normally we don't, but every once in a while you hear a story of that, right? But there's another lake that you're going to be able to see up there to the left. In a few. Yeah, this is a bit of an area where a lot of people usually sit and enjoy the beach. They got a beach up here and you can go for a swim. Oh, that water looks high, doesn't it? Yeah, usually the, the they got a bit of a better beach up here, but... Yeah, that water almost looks high this year. Hmm. I wonder if it actually is or if it just maybe looks that way. But anyways, let's get down over to our campsite. We got a few more legs to pass before we get to our site. And then we'll show you what we can. We are now coming into Nudimek Lake Camps. Yes, indeed. Up here to the right is a museum. I know Mitch has told me about this museum a few times. Yes, indeed. Look at that. We got some uh, park rangers up here. Got a little store right here. And this is where a lot of the guys would camp that are not seasonal, but we got to go a little bit further to where the seasonal camps come in. It's only like a kilometer or something like that further down the road here. So it's not too bad. Like right here, just around the corner. This is it, right there where that black car goes in. That's our spot where we make our left-hand turn to go to our friend's place. Actually, it's not really our spot, but it's my friend's place there. So we're gonna go see if they got everything set up already. I know they were a little bit ahead of us. So yeah, so we're going into the wild. Yes, indeed. Sometimes we do see some deers up here. They're really not that wild up here, you know. They don't get scared that easily, you know. I think last year when we came down here, there was two of them standing right on the side of the road. They didn't even phase, you know. They weren't even phased by us driving by here. But yeah, we are almost at the campsite. Yes, indeed. We got a about a mile maybe to go in here till we get to the seasonal campsites but hey we're gonna be there in a, in a minute or two yes and we're taking you guys with us today I hope this ain't gonna be too much of a long boring video I hope we can make it entertaining for you guys yes indeed I hope a lot of you guys will enjoy a little different side track or side kick or whatever you want to call it from trucking and we are going to forget about trucking for a few days and we will be camping and enjoying life like i've been talking about for a long time 
trucking you hardly ever get the chance to do that and uh, this is what I am talking about if I wasn't trucking we would probably do a lot more of it like we used to when I worked at Lone Windows we go just about every other weekend we would go camping like this oh yeah that was a lot of fun definitely but this year you don't see any snow up here. Last year when we come through here, this time of the year, there was actually snow up here. Everything was frozen. The ground was frozen. Everything was frozen up here. So, so yeah. Well, this is basically just a seasonal conservation uh, people in there. So we don't have to stop in here. It's just if you want to check in, I guess, or whatever. But we don't have to go check in. So we don't have to stop in there. So we're looking for bay four, yeah. Looks like the ground is still a little bit soft up here. That's what it feels like. But yeah, we are just about to hit our friend's place. That's bay two, there to the left. We're looking for bay four. Campsite 14, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, up here to the left is where we got the showers. That's where we go take a shower if we uh, feel like taking a shower. This is bay three up here. So the next one should be bay four, not this one. This is where the bay three comes out. So this is gonna be bay four up here to the right. There you go, seasonal camp only, camping only. Wow, look at that. This looks like uh, the people that we know. Yeah, we were in the same bay. I think we were down here in one of these. Yeah. I think so, yeah. I think, was this one or was it another one? Yeah. yeah? No, I thought we were on that side. Yeah, we were on this side. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, here we are. Yep. We're looking for bay uh, number 14. We're looking for number 14. He said it's right around the corner, so I, re I kind of remember where it's at. So... A lot of campers out here already. That looks like Arvid. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yeah, here's my friend Ronnie's campsite. Yes, indeed. We'll drive in there so you guys can see where we're camping. Look at that, guys. Here we are. We have arrived. Yes, indeed. So I guess we'll see you guys in a few. We are here at camp. And we are cooking some hamburgers, yes. We're putting on a good smoke show too, so the mosquitoes disappear tonight. Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah. We're getting some hamburgers ready, that's for sure. Well, guys, this is our recipe for our hamburgers. Look at that. We got some onion. We got some tomato and cheese, lettuce. Oh, yeah, that's going to taste really good, don't you think so? We are ready for a good hamburger. What do you guys think? I think it's gonna taste really good. Mm -hmm. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. 